He stepped inside his home. He was overwhelmed with fear. An angel came with words from God. Things were still unclear. Saying, "Read, read," but he could not read. Amazing words that he heard. A trembling deep inside his heart, confused by what had occurred. There was only one who could comfort him, to help him see the light, to ease his fears, to reassure. Was Khadija his wife? He said, "Zamiluni, zamiluni, dafiruni, dafiruni." Inna alhamdulillahi taala na hamduhu wa nasta'inu bihi wa nasta'dihi wa nasta'shuru. Allahumma lakal hamdu anta nuru al-samawati wal-ard wa man fihin wa lakal hamdu anta al-haq wa wa'duka al-haq wa al-jannatu haq wa al-naru haq wa liqa'uka haq wa al-malaikatu haq wa al-nabiyun haq Rabbi shrach li sadri wa yassir li amri wa ahlul uqdatan min lisani yafqahu qawli My dear beloved brothers and sisters in Islam Assalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh And welcome again with the last episode in our program The Road to Medina Alhamdulillah Everything happens with the permission of Allah and anything Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who make, makes it easy. So alhamdulillah Allah made it easy for us to live together the steps and the days of hijrah of Rasulullah sallallahu to take the lessons and the benefits of those days. Alhamdulillah we are so glad to be among those who are uh, 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 studying the seerah of Rasulullah sallallahu in order to take these lessons and to apply them in our daily life. My dear brothers and sisters, the Hijrah of Rasulullah is full with so much benefits and so much instructions and I encourage myself and everyone who is watching me, please always read some of these seerah, some of these situations, even in a weekly basis, sit down with your family and read one situation and uh, try to understand and take some lessons of that situation with your kids and with your wives. It's something great and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is going to reward you if you did so because you are reading about your beloved Prophet Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. Alayhi salatu wasalam. Uh, to wrap up our subject, inshallah, and our uh, program, we lived, we have lived with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallam in the hard times when he was in Mecca. We have lived with our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallam in those days, the tough days that he has faced, the days when the da'wah started, uh, when he sallam, was 40 years, when he was in the house of Khadija radiallahu anha, when Allah revealed the Holy Quran to our beloved Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam, on the mountain of An-Nur, in the Ghar, the cave of Hira. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the angel Jibreel to talk to the Prophet sallam, and to say and to recite to him the Quran, Iqra, Iqra. And the Prophet Muhammad sallam, would say, Ma ana biqari. We have lived with those at moments when he sallam, was scared and came back to his wife. May peace and blessings be upon her, radiallahu anha Khadija. And when she took him sallam, and calmed his, her husband alayhi salatu wasalam, down and she took him to her cousin Waraqa ibn Nawfal who believed even before the, uh, the Islam appeared. But he believed with Rasulullah and said, I will defend you when your people uh, are kicking you away of your city. And Rasulullah started this, this struggle and believed with him his wife and uh, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, the first man, Ali ibn Abi Talib, the first boy to accept Islam and Zayd ibn Harisa who used to live with Rasulullah at the time and who was called Zayd ibn Muhammad. And Tiba'an, and after that, many of the Sahaba, many of the great people in Mecca with soft hearts and open mind who accepted Islam, the torture happened to be from the disbelievers to the believers, to those who accepted Islam with Rasulullah, especially the weak ones, especially those who are, who used to be uh, slaves or those who are not with, uh, from strong tribes. They, would, they used to face lots of troubles from the disbelievers. And what happens to the Yasser family, Ammar bin Yasser and his father and his mother is not far from us, Khabab ibn al-Arat, Bilal ibn Rabah and others, Abdullah ibn Mas'ud, 
uh, we have seen people who come to Mecca and they were forbidden to listen to Rasulullah and we have seen like Tufail ibn Amr al-Dawsi and Abu Zar al-Ghifari and many people who used to come to visit Mecca and the people will warn them against Rasulullah We have seen the happiness when Rasulullah saw Abu Bakr, uh, Umar ibn al-Khattab has accepted Islam and Hamza ibn Abdul Muttalib, the cousin, the uncle of Rasulullah has accepted Islam and it was victory for Islam. When Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala commanded his Prophet Muhammad sallam, to offer the da'wah to all the people and he was sallam, uh, 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 he faced the enmity of his uncle Abu Lahab Abdul Uzza ibn Abdul Muttalib and faced the troubles from the chiefs of Mecca Abu Jahl, Umayyah ibn Khalaf, Utbah, Washaib ibn Rabi'ah and other people in the, uh, the, Me the Mecca and we have seen the sabr of Rasulullah sallam, all that we have seen together until the death of the uncle of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, Abu Talib, who passed away without even seeing the Shahada, uh, insisting to be on the religion of his father, Abdul Muttalib, and did not accept the religion of Muhammad. May peace and blessings be upon him. When we, say, when we saw uh, the death of Khadija radiallahu anha and the year of sadness, when Rasulullah faced all these troubles, and afterwards when Rasulullah went to a ta'if and faced the problems from those people who rejected, but even though Rasulullah was so merciful and he did not accept that the angel of mountains will break these two mountains on those people and kill them, Rasulullah hoping that Allah will bring people who would say la ilaha illallah. With all these lessons we have lived, all these episodes talking about the road to Medina, until Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent uh, has sent to Rasulullah Sallam people from the Medina, the supporters, the Ansar, who would accept the message of Islam and offer Rasulullah home and offered him defense to defend him from the disbelievers and to take care of him and his companions who would migrate later with the Prophet Sallam. We have seen all that and we have seen the planning for migration of Rasulullah Sallam and when he ordered some of the companions to go to Abyssinia and afterwards to go to Medina when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala opened. We saw the Bayatul Aqabat al-Ula wa thaniya We saw the uh, first agreement of Aqaba and the second and the big one, Al-Aqabat al-Kubra. And we have seen all those ones. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has opened for his Prophet Muhammad sallam the gates of mercy, the gates of rahmah, when he granted him people like those of Al-Aws wa Al-Khazraj who have accepted Islam and believed with Rasul sallam and gave the bay'ah to him, alayhi salatu wasalam. Now, my dear brothers and sisters, let us focus on some lessons that we learn from this great incident from our Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu All these incidents from the beginning of da'wah until the migration to Medina, until he وسلم, settled in Medina and all his family members have joined him والسلام, and he started to build the nation of Islam, started to unite between the Aws and the Khazraj before he united between the uh, uh, the uh, Muhajirin and the Ansar. Rasulullah has given us a great example of unity between those people and he made them one nation. And he started with building the masjids. So he built the Masjid of Qiba and he stayed there for four days. And he also وسلم, uh, started the Masjid of Nabi وسلم, who started, he started to build it in Medina in a place where his uh, camel uh, uh, landed. Uh, after his arrival uh, to Medina. Rasulullah Sallam started to make this Ummah. He built it with, uh, 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 with great examples of unity among the people uh, to make brotherhood between all the people who believed with him Sallallahu Sallam. We take some lessons from all that uh, that to put our trust on Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala to know well that the victory comes only from Allah Azza wa Jal. Allah is the one who supports subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we always in need to ask, to ask Allah, to uh, hurry up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to ask him. And the best dua is the dua of those who are very sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's why we are in need always to make dua, to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to open for us the gates of mercy and to forgive all our sins. My dear brothers, if our a'mal are connected with Allah, then everything in this life will be very easy and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will uh, help us to, uh, uh, to be beside us subhanahu wa ta'ala and I will mention here one of the hadith of a hadith uh, 
hadith Qudsi that the Prophet Muhammad Sallam has uh, told us. Uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said in this hadith Qudsi, Man aada li waliyan faqad aadhantuhu bil harb. Uh, Allah said in this uh, Qudsi hadith, He said, Whomsoever will be an enemy to somebody that I am, uh, that my, that is of my friends or my my allies, I will be uh, I will I will be in, in in a war with him. Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala said that as the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Man aada li waliyan faqad aadhantuhu bil harb. Whomsoever will be an enemy to somebody that I uh, 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 that is uh, close to me, I will establish war against him. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَا تَقَرَّبَ إِلَيَّ شَعَبِدِي بِشَيْءٍ أَحَبَّ إِلَيَّ مِمَّا افْتَرَدْتُهُ عَلَيْهِ And my slave will not do something better than the obligations to me, the fara'id, to do them to Allah, to do your prayers, to do your zakat, to pay your zakat, to fast and to do hajj if you can. All these are the fara'id. But if you want Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to be so close to you and to be always beside you, uh, is to do nawafil. Allah said, وَمَا يَزَالُ عَبِدِ يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَيَّ بِالنَّوَافِلِ حَتَّى أُحِبُّهُ That's what we learn from our beloved Prophet alayhi salatu salam from these lessons in order to be, uh, 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 to get the ma'iyatullah that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will be beside you is to do as much as you can nawafil to pay sadaqah, to pray and to do, uh, to fast voluntarily for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All that will, will make you close to Allah azza wa jal. And if you get that, Allah will love you. وَمَا يَزَالُ عَبِرِ يَتَقَرَّبُ إِلَى بِالنَّوَافِلِ حَتَّى أُحِبُّ Allah will love you if you do those nawafil, if you do those voluntarily works to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Different ones. Try to do multiple things. Don't focus in one thing so you don't get bored. Do other things. If you get tired of reciting Quran, go pray. If you get tired of praying, you go and help one brother to do something good. If you did that, you can do go to the masajid, stay with the people, give sadaqah for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those what we learn from our beloved Prophet sallallahu uh, alayhi wa The lessons, uh, lots of lessons we learn from our beloved uh, Prophet alayhi salatu wasalam. After tawakkul and sabr, uh, we learn from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam that uh, uh, tawakkul is uh, one of the fruits that we learn from this story. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَوَحَسْبُهُ Whomsoever will put his trust on Allah, Allah will be uh, enough to cover him and to sustain him and to help him out. My dear brothers, after the break, I will continue to give you more lessons to end up our program, inshallah. May Allah accept from us. May Allah help us to be good servants to him. Azza wa Jal, Ameen. Until I meet you after the break, please stay with me. I will see you then. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. <laughs> My dear brothers and sisters in Islam, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu. Welcome back again after the break. We are wrapping up, we are finishing this program of the road to Medina. My dear brothers, alhamdulillah, we are blessed to be with you in this program. We are so blessed that we are talking about our beloved Prophet Sallallahu And as we always say, it is an honor for the speaker, an honor for the listeners to talk and listen about the the closest one to our hearts, our most beloved one, uh, Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers, we continue some lessons, uh, inshallah, uh, to end up our episode. Uh, uh, the lessons that we learn from Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam are so many and really needs our attention all the time so that we can even benefit in our life because our life, as we said, has no meaning except when we learn and we take from our beloved Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. My dear brothers and sisters, uh, we learn from that these great stories when Abu Bakr Siddiq 
radiallahu anhu was ready to go to Medina and he wrapped up everything in his in his uh, hometown uh, Mecca and he was ready with his family to move and then the Prophet said to him uh, uh, to wait uh, he might get the permission to go so he stopped and he left even though with all these hardships that he faced with his family from the Meccans but he still he listened to Rasulullah and he waited to go with Rasulullah for the company and he wished to be a company with Rasulullah also uh, the good planning Rasulullah he when Allah revealed to him that the, those disbelievers were planning to to, uh, to to kill him والسلام, and they had this kind of meeting he والسلام, also planned for hijrah and he organized everything and he put steps one two three four who's going to do this and who's going to do that like Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr who was telling him the news from the uh, mushrikeen and Amr ibn Fuhaira who used to bring them the food or the milk and he used to cover the footprints of uh, of Abdullah ibn Abi Bakr Rasulullah is giving us the uh, uh, explanation that in order to do something you have to plan for it you have to choose the good people who would help you in a, sin a sincere way you don't uh, choose the people who would uh, uh, do something wrong and dis destroy whatever you uh, try to build before so in order to be successful you should choose a good team who, was, who would help you to do something good in your life uh, also uh, Rasulullah he choose a person with experience so there is no any problem if you have chosen somebody with experience to do something even though that person wasn't Muslim for example the Prophet ﷺ in this story he has chosen Abdullah ibn Urayqat uh, to be the, le uh, the leader or the guide of the trip because he knows the roads and the ways to Medina from other uh, uh, far from other uh, from the regular ways that the people usually take to go to Medina Munawwara uh, to Yastrib. So this man Abdullah bin Urayqat, even though he was mushrik, disbeliever, uh, uh, but still Rasulullah used him as a guide to take him to uh, to take them to uh, Medina from different ways. So planning is something important, and people cannot be successful except when they, uh, when they, uh, when they uh, plan well to the what they they, they want to do. Also, from the lessons we learn from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, uh, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiyallahu anhu, who was really care about Rasulullah sallam, who was uh, crying for any harm might happen to Rasulullah and Rasulullah would always tell him do not get upset do not be sad Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is always beside us may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us this help that we will be always getting the help of Allah and Allah beside us subhanahu wa ta'ala as we said in the hadith earlier when you do more nawafil Allah will love you and if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala loved you you will, uh, he subhanahu wa ta'ala will be beside you. He will be for you, your eyes that you see with, your hands that you uh, use, your foot that you walk with, and uh, uh, your, uh, your ears that you hear with. Allah Azza will be for you. And if you ask Allah, He will give you. And if you, you walk to Allah, He will run to you, subhanahu wa ta'ala, as in the hadith Qudsi. Also, we learn from this great story uh, the wish to have a company with somebody that you trust, somebody that you love. Uh, usually when you go to do a job or you go to uh, travel, you, ch you try to select a good company as you are going for Hajj for example or you're traveling somewhere. You choose and select good people who will help you to worship Allah. People who will be a good friend with you in your journey. You don't uh, choose people who might destroy your Iman or will make it weak. Uh, this is what the Prophet ﷺ did. He chose Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu to be his companion because he trusted him. والسلام, he trusted Abu Bakr more than anyone else. He also ﷺ loved him because Abu Bakr, as we know, was the first man to accept Islam with Rasulullah ﷺ. Also, from those great lessons we learn in uh, our topic, in our program, uh, the uh, the, the, the high status that made Abu Bakr al-Siddiq close to Rasulullah Wasallam would uh, give him his secrets and would talk to him about all the issues that related to the da'wah of Islam 
and he will accept sallam, Allah, the Prophet of Allah will accept the nasiha or the advice and will, will accept the suggestion that comes from Abu Bakr al-Siddiq radiallahu anhu. Also, uh, uh, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq and his family, look at this family that helped Rasulullah sallam, his great family, Abu Bakr al-Siddiq, his family, Aisha radiallahu anha, and Asma. Uh, Aisha, who was young at that time, and she was also engaged to Rasulullah Asma bint Abi Bakr, who cut from her clothes, and she was called that on the because of uh, cutting from her clothes to help to cook, finish the rahila, the uh, the camel of uh, Rasulullah and her father. Uh, also, to uh, from the lessons that we learn on in this in this great hadith, when Allah, when Rasulullah promised Suraqa ibn Malik in this difficult in time when he was migrating to Medina in the way when Suraqa uh, with his horse ran behind Rasulullah and the caravan talk, taking him to Medina. Uh, Rasulullah uh, when he gave security to Suraqa, Rasulullah promised Suraqa with the sewer of Kisra, the gold of Kisra and uh, Suraqa was wondering uh, in this tough, tough time Rasulullah is promising me with something. Suraqa afterwards became soft and became so uh, so eager to help Rasulullah and when he went back to Mecca he made the people slow and relax because there is no hope of finding Muhammad وسلم, while he knows that if they ran towards Medina they will find him so Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the one who changed the hearts when you treat somebody with love and you treat somebody with wisdom Allah will make that person if he was an enemy to you he will become so close Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said وَلَا تَسْتَوِي الْحَسَنَةُ وَلَا السَّيِّئَةُ إِذِ فَعْ بِالَّتِي هِيَ أَحْسَنُ فَإِذَا الَّذِي بَيْنَكَ وَبَيْنَهُ عَدَاوَةٌ كَأَنَّهُ وَلِيٌ حَمِيمٌ Allah the Almighty said the hasana and sayyah, the good deed and the bad deed are not equal. Uh, when you defend or react, you react with something good so that that will affect your enemy and the one who is enemy for you, he will become a very close friend because of your actions, because of your treatment. So that was the Prophet ﷺ treated Suraqa. Even Suraqa is coming to attack him. Rasulullah ﷺ treated him so nicely. And the man afterwards, he became Muslim. And in the time of Umar ibn al-Khattab, after the death of Rasulullah ﷺ, and in the time of the Khilafah of Umar, who was Amir al-Mu'mineen, the Muslims uh, opened and conquered uh, Persia. And they got the treasure of Kisra, and they brought it safe to Umar ibn Khattab and Umar ibn Khattab called Suraqa ibn Malik and gave him the, uh, the gold of Kisra and said to him this is the, what Rasulullah has promised you imagine all this happens and all these miracles because of this great religion Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wanted it to appear and to be everywhere as Rasulullah said that this religion will appear everywhere in the world, in the east and the west, and all the kings of the world will know about this great religion. Alhamdulillah, Allah has blessed us to be the people of Tawheed, the people of uh, Islam, the people who are the followers of Muhammad. And may Allah grant us the ability to uh, worship Allah and to obey our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Also, we learn from this uh, hadith, uh, from this uh, incident as well. Look at uh, Abu Bakr Siddiq radiallahu anhu. He will always be careful about the food of Rasulullah. He will always make sure that Rasulullah is, is eating well and drinking the milk well. And uh, when he uh, went to, uh, when he met with the guy, shepherd, who was uh, with his sheep, he got from him the milk and he gave Rasulullah until he was satisfied. My dear brothers and sisters, many lessons and many great things that we learn from our beloved Rasul Sallallahu until he arrived to Medina. May Allah Subhanahu wa Taala make us from among those who live in Medina and get the privilege of da'wah to Allah. My dear brothers, remember these words, and uh, Insha Allah, I will meet you with another program. 
uh, uh, inshallah may Allah make it easy for us and give us the knowledge and increase our knowledge always say wa qurrabbi zidni ilma oh Allah increase me knowledge so that you can teach the people and can explain to the people especially uh, those who uh, are busy on, the ta on, their, on their life uh, we can le really learn a lot and study that together may Allah teach us and our children and keep us on the straight path and our children and all the Muslim nation may Allah protect all the Muslim nation may Allah help us to be with our Prophet Muhammad Sallam in Jannah may Allah protect us all may Allah grant us mercy and forgiveness may Allah give shifa to all of our family members and all those who are sick from among the believers may Allah give victory to the Muslim Ummah may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect all of us and protect all of our children and keep them on the straight path, the path of Muhammad. May Allah give us the hidayah to the His As-Surat Al-Mustaqim, Ameen, until we die. May Allah uh, make the last moment of our life the best moment while we are in the best state of Iman, Ameen. Until I see you in another program, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us together on Ta'a and in the hereafter gather us together in Jannah with our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Ameen. May Allah protect all of us. Subhanak Allahumma bihamdik. Ashhadu an la ilaha illa ant. Astaghfiruka wa atubu ilayk. Dumtum fi amani Allah. Wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. He stepped inside his home. He was overwhelmed with fear. An angel came with words from God. Things were still unclear. Saying read, read, but he could not read Amazing words that he heard A trembling deep inside his heart Confused by what had occurred There was only one who could comfort him To help him see the light To ease his fears, to reassure was Khadija his wife? He said, Zamiluni, Zamiluni, Dathiruni, Dathiruni.